Soldier Field, Chicago, Illinois, home of the 2007 CONCACAF Gold Cup Championship game. A home game for the United States? Well, not exactly. Practically 90% of the fans settling in are Mexican rooters today as these two teams, the two giants of CONCACAF, play for the Gold Cup title. Once again, alongside Shep Messing, I'm Steve Cangelosi. The road to the final for both of these teams, well, there were times we wondered if this matchup would take place, but here we are, the team that's won the Gold Cup four times against the team that's won it three. Well, Steve, I've been saying for the entire Gold Cup tournament that I expect this Mexican team to play well. They have so much individual talent on the squad. They've reached the final against their nemesis, the U.S. I think they'll play well. A Gold Cup championship and a spot in the FIFA Confederations Cup field in 2009 in South Africa on the line today. Let's talk about these two teams and what kind of impact they've been able to make on the road to this championship game. First, the United States. 11 goals so far on 53 shots. That's a sparkling 21 percentage. And the U.S., of course, undefeated. They've won every Every game that they've played so far in this tournament allowing two goals. As for Mexico, the one bump on the road that lost to Honduras during group play. Six goals they've scored on 60 shots. That's a 10 percent success rate and they've allowed three goals to this stage in the tournament. These two teams are meeting in the Gold Cup for the fourth time ever and they'll meet for the third time in the final. What past history has told us in 1991 the United States won it. That was a semifinal win. They'd ultimately win the championship and then Mexico winning against the U.S. in the final in 1993 and 98. What script will be written today as the 2007 Gold Cup comes to an end? Stick around and find out. The starting lineups, the opening kick coming right up. At the Gatorade Sports Science Institute, we test athletes in the lab. Because we know they'll be tested on the field. Gatorade, the most tested sports drink on the planet. The screenings that happen here might be fun or dramatic, but it's not real life. There's another screening that is real life, and it could save your life. It's a screening test for colorectal cancer, the second leading cancer killer of men and women. Screening finds precancerous polyps so they can be removed before they turn into cancer. I got screened. Now it's your turn so you can stick around and enjoy the show. If you're 50 or older, get screened for colorectal cancer. Work like a pro. Play like a pro. Tackle tough jobs. Dominate the game. Destroy the competition. Go professional. Choose Makita. The pomp and circumstance surrounding the Gold Cup final here at Soldier Field in Chicago. We're moments from the opening kick, and yes, it is a partisan crowd here in Chicago. I'd say about 90-10 Mexico as the teams come out for the starting introduction, Shep. Well, St Steve, we talk about a partisan crowd behind this Mexican team. This atmosphere at Soldiers Field is electric. Sometimes that puts more pressure when you're playing in front of your, your crowd, the Mexican team. They have to feel like they haven't played well in the tournament. They need a good game here in the final. The United States has had great success against its biggest rival in CONCACAF since 2000. The U.S. is 8-2-1 against Mexico. Sepp Flatter, the FIFA president. Jack Warner, the CONCACAF president. Behind him, greeting the players who will contest today's final. The United States is 8-0-1 during that stretch that I talked about against Mexico in games played on American soil. And it's tough to figure considering the Mexican fan support. Here's the U.S. lineup put out by Bob Bradley. He goes back to Tim Howard and goal. Four in the back. Thalhaber and Mastriani are the holding midfielders. No Michael Bradley. He's suspended. And the lineup up top, Dempsey, Donovan, Beasley, and Shank. I think the players to watch are the outside backs. Spectre has to play in the game. He gets a start. Frankie Hayduck 
Suspended yellow card accumulation. Bornstein, two young players as outside backs. Mexico starting 11. Sanchez, the goalkeeper. They play four in the back, and the captain, Marquez, is back to solidify the defense. I think he's the key player for Mexico. We've talked about their woes in this Gold Cup tournament, Steve, but Marquez, he is the man. He's the leader. I think they'll be much more organized than we've seen them before. He finished up the Spanish Primera season with Barcelona. We get the signal from Carlos Batres from Guatemala, today's referee, and we are underway. The United States in white moving from left to right on your screen, and Mexico with Neri Castillo on the ball in the traditional green. The cross from Guardado in front. Headed away by Carlos Bocanegra, and very early on, we get our first whistle of the match. Well, I think that's a good opening sequence, though, Steve, if you're Mexico. I talked about the young outside backs for the USA. Right away, Castillo put pressure on Jonathan Spector, won the ball, and they had a little opportunity. So I expect them to attack those young outside backs. Michael Bradley and Frankie Haydick suspended for the United States today as DeMarcus Beasley thought he had forced the foul, but this goes against the United States. And no Gerardo Torado, the gifted midfielder from Mexico. He is also suspended. Foul called against the U.S., and very early on, we have a yellow card, and it goes to Carlos Bocanegra in the game's ninth minute. Many feel he's lucky to be playing in this match. Many felt he should have been red-carded in the semifinals versus Canada. Well, let's take a look at this scissor sliding tackle. Again, Mexico attacking the wings. That's Medina getting wide right. I like the referee early, Steve, really trying to say, dictate, this is how I'm calling the game, guys. No theatrics, let's have a good one. So that's why the yellow card. He is wearing the captain's armband, Carlos Bocanegra, free kick coming up from Mexico as they look to give the crowd a thrill early on. Pavel Pardo is on the ball, strikes it, headed away by the U.S. Pardo, the hero in the semifinal win over Guadalupe with one of the great goals of the tournament. Beasley for the U.S. will play this back. There's an injured player for Mexico. And the United States will slow the attack here, and we'll see if this is played out. Now it is by Bocanegra. Yeah, it was on the ball that Pardo played into the box. Borghetti, there's Marquez, Bocanegra. Bocanegra with his arm on the back of Borghetti. I think he just tweaked his ankle as he came down. We'll keep an eye on Jared Borghetti. Lozano now plays this across for Salcido. Carlos Salcido into open space. Guardado on the run. Crosses in front. Cleared away at the last moment by Mastriani. Beasley able to play it for the United States. Knocked down in the open field. This time he does force the foul against Mexico. Now we've talked about this rivalry, Steve. They're at each other right away in this game. Here comes the United States. Laying it off was Failhaber. But he gives it away to Mexico. And now... The team that is the only four-time Gold Cup champion trying to make it five with possession of the ball. Played ahead by Pardo. Far side of the field. That's Jonathan Bornstein getting the start at left back who played it forward for the United States, but a whistle on the play. This goes against the U.S. The United States has won every game that it's played in this Gold Cup. Outscoring the opposition in group play, 7-0. And then victories in the knockout stage against Panama. And then the controversial 2-1 win over Canada in the semifinal round. This is possession for the U.S. as we get back to Carlos Bocanegra, who plays it forward. Top of the box, headed away. Magallon played that for Mexico. That's one of the surprises for me in the starting lineup. Brian Ching, he gets called for that. Little nudge into the back of Magallon, but Bradley, Bob Bradley, the U.S. national team coach, had options up front. He elected to go with Brian Ching. I think he wanted that physical holding type striker. He knew this was going to be a physical game, and that's why he went with Ching. And it seems a little bit of a different alignment because Ching is in the lineup. Landon Donovan had been playing mostly on a wing in this tournament. He seems to be more center of the field. And Clint Dempsey is a little more far outside for this match against Mexico. Well, the U.S. did not come into this game overconfident because of the way Mexico has played. They know what they were going to face now, Lane, and Donovan gets forward. And Donovan crosses top of the box. Beasley brought it down. DeMarcus Beasley stopped in front. Rebound is loose and cleared away by Magallon. 
Well, that's the first big save of the game. Sanchez got the right hand on it. Mexico on the counter. Castillo was making a run. It's knocked away by Onyewu for the United States. Quick toss in for Guardado. Guardado plays this forward. Brought down by Onyewu. He's arguing foul, but the referee Batra says play on. In the midfield, Dale Haber gives it up. Mastriani on the ball now for the United States. Has nowhere to go. He's going to play this back to Tim Howard. Well, I like the tempo of the game, Steve. Mexico picking up a little bit of high pressure. U.S. trying to get settled in the midfield. Medina pressures the ball from Mexico, but it's taken by Beasley. Turns around. He's tripped up in the open field, and the foul is called against Alberto Medina. What's more, we're going to have our first yellow card to a Mexican player. It goes to Medina in the 18th minute. Bornstein for the United States lays it off. Beasley fights for it, taken away by Failhaber now. Benny Failhaber hounded on the far side of the field. Avoids Lozano and gives to Bornstein. Jonathan Bornstein has room. Fires just wide. That's off the side of the net. That was great work by Failhaber. He was pinned in, got the ball to Bornstein. And then nobody pressuring the ball. I think Bornstein got a little over anxious. He's predominantly a left footed player. Took it with the right foot. And that ball hitting side netting. Sanchez had the near post covered. The growing up process for a number of players taking place during this tournament. Jonathan Bornstein had three caps prior to the Gold Cup. Here he is playing in the biggest international game, obviously. He's played in, and the United States has played for a long time. Mexico has it now. Castillo. Great job to avoid Donovan. Splits two U.S. defenders knocked down and the foul is forced. Castillo has been a, a handful for the United States so far. Castillo has come out flying in this game, Steve. Great individual skill on the ball. Dribbling ability gets clipped. He'll win the free kick. There's Bocanegra reaching in. And then finally Castillo goes down. Free kick, dangerous spot for the United States. Let's see how they play it. Blanco is on the bench, and Tim Howard perhaps set to be tested for the first time in a big spot today. The Everton goalkeeper sat the semifinals in favor of Casey Keller. He gets the assignment today with the gold cup on the line. Marquez, Castillo, Pardo, Guardado, all in the vicinity of the ball. Now Castillo steps off. Pardo terrific in these spots, but so too is the captain Marquez. It's Pardo, deflected over the goal line. Great chance for Mexico by the wayside, but this will be a corner kick for the Mexicans now. Well, the wall did its job at the near post. That ball deflected, kicks out for the corner. Here's the corner. Let's see if Mexico plays it into the box or short. There is Marquez, the big addition to the lineup from Mexico today. Francisco Rodriguez forced to the bench with the addition of the Barcelona defender. Here's the corner. Howard able to punch it back towards the midfield and this goes all the way back to Osorio who plays it deep once again for Mexico Marquez is making a run Howard goes up for it that's knocked around controlled by Mexico and now Tim Howard will watch this guide over the goal line play was called before that sequence and the ball went out yeah I think Marquez got a piece of Tim Howard used his body prevented Howard from collecting that ball here's the ball over the top Howard's coming out and here's Marquez he initiates the contact, referee's assistant, flag. Back the other way for the United States. Beasley tries to get a foot on it. Lozano there, so too was Bornstein. This goes off Mexico. Bornstein throw in for the U.S. He gives to Beasley. Bocanegra and Onyewu. Bocanegra. Nice move to avoid Jared Borghetti, who is down on the field for Mexico. Mexico's top forward went into the air, and he came down very awkwardly, Chef. I didn't see any contact, Steve. Borghetti was chasing the ball down. 
He went down in a heap, and he is in obvious pain. Let's take a look. There was no contact. That's a very bad sign when that happens. Is that a knee or a hamstring? Oh, wow. His left leg buckles hyperextended. Immediately, the referee Batres motioned to the Mexican sideline. The training staff is out there. Obviously, activity already on the Mexican bench. We see Batista Bravo getting warm. And this could be bad news for Mexico. Their all-time leading goal scorer, Jared Borghetti, may not be able to continue. This is Donovan now for the U.S., who lays it back to Mastriani. Failhaber for Beasley, who lays it off. Bornstein into open space now. Laid it ahead, knocked away. Osorio just guides this safely out in possession for Mexico now. Playing with 10. Yeah, that is not good for Mexico. I thought they came out, played very well. We're in a good rhythm. Borghetti's their classic striker up top, so they made that quick motion for a substitution. He has two goals in this tournament, both off the head. Sanchez will slow things down for the Mexican national team now. Omar Bravo is the choice to come in, and apparently Jared Borghetti is done for the day. Well, let's hope he's okay. That left leg buckled, Steve. I first thought he went down as if he popped a hamstring, but left leg hyperextended. Sanchez killing time, slowing the clock, trying to get Bravo into the game. Guardado heads this forward into the U.S. area. On Yewu, turns around, clears it back for the United States now. So Omar Bravo is set to check in. Salcedo back to play this for Mexico now. Nice job to avoid Brian Ching and save possession for Mexico. Marquez plays it up top, but he gives it away to Landon Donovan now. Here's Donovan on the attack for the U.S. Lays it off, left side. Failhaber into open space. Back heel pass by Dempsey to Donovan. It was stopped. Another shot. Save made by Sanchez. The best stop of the game right there by Oswaldo Sanchez as he robs the U.S. in front. That is big-time world-class goalkeeping. It started with an uncharacteristic giveaway by Marquez. Ended up with a Dempsey shot on goal. Watch this action. A little back of the heel by Dempsey. The block shot falls right back to Dempsey. He turns. That's a huge save by Sanchez. Corner kick for the United States. Mexico back with 11 players on the field. Headed in front. Bounces to the edge of the box. And now we get a whistle on the play. This will be possession for Mexico now. I'll tell you what, Steve. I think Mexico has had the better of play. But the two best opportunities have been by the U.S., that's tremendous goalkeeping by Sanchez. Anticipated, threw the left hand up, touched it over the crossbar. And we've accused Dempsey of getting a little too cute in this tournament at times. He made a great back heel pass right there to Donovan, and then on the shot, no funny business. He just cracked it when he had the chance. Well, this U.S. team needs Dempsey and Donovan and Beasley. Here's a breakaway. Castillo. Shot just wide. Natty Castillo coming within inches of giving Mexico the lead. Well, Sanchez is fired up, and you talked about Castillo. He's been a handful. There's a great little flick. And then Castillo gets into the box. Oh, boy, Tim Howard kicked out the left foot. I don't think he got a piece of it. That just skims wide. Great opportunity for the man who started alongside Borghetti, now playing alongside Omar Bravo up top. Donovan for the U.S. now. Crossfield. This is Beasley stepping forward. Chips it into open space. Dempsey couldn't get there. Donovan chases it down now for the U.S. Landon Donovan plays it back from Mastriani. Mastriani across to Failhaber now. Neat pass. One touch by Dempsey, but nobody's there. This will be possession for Mexico now. Late first half of a scoreless match to decide the Gold Cup championship. Steve, I don't like the way the U.S. looks in the middle of the field. I think Dempsey's off. I don't think Landon Donovan's got the ball enough. Failhaber's giving the ball away. U.S. really needs to do better in the middle of the field. Chance now for Mexico, far side of the field. Medina plays this for Castillo. Castillo takes on Onyewu. Great move. Lays it across, Guardado, score! Guardado in the game's 44th minute ignites Mexico a 1-0 lead. The speed of Castillo makes it possible. They are going ballistic here. What a beautiful goal, Steve. 
We were talking about Castillo. Medina set him free down the right side of the field. Look at this crowd. They're ecstatic. That's a great goal. It's the speed and skill of Castillo. He looked up. He saw Anyewu, and he said, I'm going to take you on. This crowd is loving it. This is Guadano's first goal of this gold cup competition. And this is when he recognizes it. Castillo looks up, he knows he's in a one-on-one -on -one situation, and he cuts it, blows by on Yewu, and how good is that ball? Slots it across the six-yard box. Guardado. That's a great moment for a player when he sees that wide open, gaping net, and he hammers it, roofs it. Coming into this game, Mexico had not scored against the United States on U.S. soil for a span of 753 minutes. So that streak in the 790s before it's ended by Guardado. A huge, huge goal. How does this change the game now? Well, let's see how Mexico does with their prosperity. Sometimes teams, when they get a goal, they pick it up a gear and they get another one. And sometimes they gain false confidence, but this is a great time to get a goal late in the first half. And, and I gotta tell you, it's not against the flow of play, Steve. U.S. has had a couple of great opportunities, but Mexico the better of play in the first half. One nothing, Mexico leads at our halftime coverage. Kicks off in a moment. Work like a pro. Play like a pro. Tackle tough jobs. Dominate the game. Destroy the competition. Go professional. Choose Makita. Through the Football for Hope movement, FIFA is committed to protecting children and their rights, furthering social integration and peace and reconciliation. Football for Hope champions health promotion and anti-discrimination. FIFA is firmly committed to using football to resolve some of the most pressing social challenges of our time. Football can change the world. Gatorade Sports Science Institute. We test athletes in the lab. Because we know they'll be tested on the field. Gatorade, the most tested sports drink on the planet. Halftime of the Gold Cup Final. Mexico leads the United States 1-0. Alongside Shet Messing, I'm Steve Cangelosi. It's Guardado with the goal. Maybe Castillo, the best player in that first half. But a different Mexican team because they have the addition of Marquez for this game against the U.S. Steve, I think you're right. And I don't think Marquez is 100% in terms of physical fitness. But you can tell his leadership. The team looks organized in the back. Let's take a look at the highlights, including the goal that's the difference so far. <laughs> Great action in the first half. Bordenstein gets forward, cracks that ball with the outside of the right foot. That's a great opportunity. Couldn't get it on goal. Then the U.S. continued, Steve. Dempsey for Donovan. Then it's still loose. Dempsey with a crack, and Oswaldo Sanchez with the big-time stop. That's the best save of the first half so far. Dempsey turns, fires Sanchez, world-class save. Now to the goal, Medina to Castillo, and it's all speed from here. This is a great goal. Castillo looks up, beats on Yewu, slides that ball in the six-yard box, and Godardo absolutely hammers it, but it's all the play of this man, Castillo. Good finish by Guardado as well. He barely got to that ball and puts it inside the post. 1-0, Mexico now at the half. 
That goal by Guardado snapping a stretch of 797 minutes for Mexico without a goal against the United States on U.S. soil. And here's another startling number that's obviously playing into the script here. The United States has never, in 52 matches dating back to 1934, come from behind to beat its rival, Mexico. What do they have to do to make that possible today? Well, Steve, I think they have to change the momentum of the game. I think Bob Bradley will use his bench early. I think he's got to change up something in the midfield. I don't expect the U.S. team to quit. If you're Mexico, they shouldn't sit back. They should try and find the second goal. And we see at Soldier Field, Ricardo Clark warming up. We'll see if he starts the second half. When we come back, Mexico will try to hold on to this one nothing lead and win the Gold Cup for a fifth time. The second half straight ahead. Gatorade Sports Science Institute. We test athletes in the lab. Because we know they'll be tested on the field. Gatorade, the most tested sports drink on the planet. Work like a pro. Play like a pro. Tackle tough jobs. Dominate the game. Destroy the competition. Go professional. Choose Makita. The second half set to begin here in Chicago and a substitution for the United States. It's the one we thought would happen. Ricardo Clark comes in for Pablo Mastriani who had a yellow card in that first half for the United States. Yeah, and I think that's the reason that Bob Bradley went to Ricardo Clark and right off the bat, that's what he wants from Ricardo Clark. He absolutely flattened Pardo. Back on the U.S. defense, Onyewu plays this forward. The other reason for Ricardo Clark, Steve, he's got a better ability to get forward into the attack. A gifted player coming of age is Ricardo Clark. He's been terrific for the MLS champion, Houston Dynamo. Skied high in the midfield, Bornstein plays this forward for the United States. Brought down and controlled by the U.S. Laid off by Clark. Cross, far side. Sanchez is out. He's able to punch it away. Shot! Failhammer, then Dempsey denied in front. Oh, Sanchez perfectly placed to deny his second big save of the game. And now Mexico will walk it out. Well, Sanchez, Steve, has been an absolute hero in this game. Two point blank saves again, great positioning. And he has kept this game 1-0. Dempsey. A golden opportunity for the United States. Denied. Here's Bornstein now for the United States. Plays it forward and a little bit more of an air of urgency you see for the United States in these opening moments of the half. Medina plays this forward. Near side. Castillo keeps it alive. Neri Castillo with Onyewu in front of him. He won that battle earlier. Castillo off the left foot. Has it blocked in front. U.S. plays it. Beasley is on the ball and plays it forward. Now once again it was Ricardo Clark to get back and block the shot of Castillo and that's the danger with the U.S. pressing. They have to be careful of the Mexico counterattack. Pardo plays this back for Magallon. Magallon to the goal scorer Guardado. Clark is over where Salcido plays it ahead. Pass is intercepted by the United States and taken by Jonathan Spector. Specter into open space. Played it ahead for Dempsey. U.S. tried to push that forward for Donovan making a run, but it was knocked away. Now Guardado has it for Mexico. Nice little move to avoid Specter. Plays it into open space. Castillo has it for Mexico. Neri Castillo. Nice job of a takeaway by Ricardo Clark, who's come in and confidently taken control for the United States. Well, Bob Bradley is looking like a genius right now. Ricardo Clark has changed the tempo of this game. Pardo for Mexico now. Plays it forward, far side, Guardado is on the ball. One nothing, Mexico. 
early second half here at Soldier Field in Chicago. I think if you're Mexico, Steve, you have to do what you did well in the first half. Get the ball wide, attack the outside backs of the U.S. team. Donovan plays this back. United States pushes it forward for Dempsey. Donovan back for Dempsey. Nice pass in tight space. Clint Dempsey's got it far side of the field. Stutter step by Dempsey. Tries to cross it in front. Donovan can't get there. Knocked away. Guardado will take this out for Mexico now. I don't like the way Clint Dempsey's playing, Steve. Not crisp, not sharp. Headed by Guardado. Sanchez, did he do enough to keep that ball alive for Mexico? Yes, he did. Everybody pushes forward. Oswaldo Sanchez, the 33-year-old keeper, the three-time World Cup veteran. If he bars the door, Mexico's the Gold Cup champ. That's the cross that he came out and fisted. Good goalkeeping. And that's the save. One save, second save. That's great calm by Sanchez. Dempsey in too close. Here comes Mexico now. Omar Bravo shot. Howard knocked it away. It'll be a corner kick for Mexico coming up. That's the counterattack I alluded to. The U.S. team is pushing. Pardo plays a perfect ball in to Bravo. Bravo rips it to the near post. I don't think it was going in anyway, but Tim Howard cannot take a chance, slaps it away. Bravo came on in the game's 40th minute for the injured Borghetti. Guardado is in the corner, so too Pavel Pardo. All the Mexican subs are making their way to the deep end of the field to warm up. In front, Clark tried to clear it away. Castillo with a drive high of goal. That would have put the Mexican team in the driver's seat. Now that's the second goal that I said Mexico needs. That Castillo's been a handful. That ball not cleared out well. Castillo rips it with the left foot. Not sure whether Tim Howard got a finger on it or not. Well, I actually think it was deflected, but there is Marquez battling on Yewu. Castillo with the opportunity. Goal kick, Howard. Played forward for the United States. Pardo checking Ching and now wins the ball for Mexico. Guardado lays it off and back for Ricardo Osorio. Osorio with Mexico up by one. Giveaway in the open field. Donovan off to the races for the United States now. Donovan lays it off. Oh, Clint Dempsey just didn't get anything on it, and a great chance for the U.S. blows up. Yeah, Clint Dempsey is not having a good game. That's a giveaway by Mexico, uncharacteristic. U.S. had numbers. Dempsey couldn't do better with that shot. Quick throw in now for the United States, though, as Beasley plays it in. Clark. Avoids Bravo and plays this back, Bocanegra. Back and forth we go. U.S. tries to settle this down with Failhaber now on the ball. Plays it back for Clark. Spectre on the ball for the U.S. Ching lays it wide. Spectre crosses it. That's Marquez with space to just walk it out for Mexico now. That's one of the rare times Jonathan Spector has gotten forward. This is Brian Ching with the foul on Marquez. Just a clumsy challenge. Ching, a big, strong player. Marquez cut the ball back. Ching cracked him with the left foot. He plays for club team Barcelona, the first Mexican player ever to win Champions League as Barcelona did a year ago. And what a difference his presence in the lineup has made from start to where we are right now. Headed away by the United States and Donovan who made a mistake. This is a corner kick coming up now for Mexico. And these are dangerous, Steve, because this is a Mexican team that deceptively is good in the air. Salcedo, Marquez will get up. These are good, big, strong players in the air. You don't want to be giving away set pieces, corner kicks to them. Pardo is over to take it for Mexico. They lead by one. The goal by Guardado in the game's 44th minute. Pardo has had a terrific tournament. His corner kick in front. Knocked away, but a shot deflected. 
One more time it's loose. Marquez trying to get there on the scramble, but it's cleared away by the U.S. Into the corner, Bornstein gives chase. The ball won by Mexico. Magallon stepped up. Comes together with Ching. No foul called. Castillo on the ball now. Neddy Castillo plays it. Tries to shake loose. Castillo has been such a force. Gives to Magallon. His cross in front. Headed away by Onyewu. Well, once again, it's Castillo creating panic in the U.S. defense. He was doing this all year for Olympiacos in Greece. Here's the initial corner. Spectre flicks it back. And there's the drive. And now that ball bouncing around in the six-yard box. Finally cleared out. That's Lozano who had the crack for Mexico. That never got to net. Another corner kick, and the U.S. now is flirting with trouble. Pardo. In front. Headed and on a bounce. Howard is able to take it. It remains a 1-0 game. This is a real battle, Steve. U.S. has definitely picked up the tempo, the rhythm, the pace, but they've got to get some goal-scoring opportunities. Bornstein has it. Two more substitutions at Bob Bradley's disposal if and when he chooses to use them. Spectre plays it deep. Ching is on the ball. Comes together with Magallon. Brian Ching goes down. Penalty kick is the call. Brian Ching forced the foul in the box. Yellow card to Magallon. And a chance for the United States to tie this game up. We're in the 61st minute. I got to get another look at that, Steve. Didn't look like a PK call to me. There's the ball to Ching. Oh, I think that's a bad call. Magallon. I think that's Ching initiating the contact as he turns. Unbelievable moment in this game. Doesn't matter what I think, Steve. He has awarded a PK. Landon Donovan will take it for the United States. He is a perfect three for three on penalty kick tries in this tournament. Perhaps a game-changing moment. He's gone down the middle every single time. Sanchez in his face trying to play mind games with him. If Donovan scores, this goal would be his 34th for the United States. That's Guardado with a word for Donovan as well. 34 would tie Eric Winalda for the most all-time for the U.S. national team. This is Landon. 1-1. Donovan's fourth goal of this Gold Cup, all on penalty kicks, has tied up the score. Unbelievable moment, Steve. I'm not sure the U.S. deserved that call, but they're going to take it. This has tied the game up. We talked about Donovan. That's the best penalty kick he's taken all tournament. The other ones, I think, were not well taken. Right down the center of the goal, Sanchez knew it, so he held his ground. It's a mind game. Landon Donovan wins that individual battle. And now Bob Bradley will go to his bench. Clint Dempsey is done for the day. And Taylor Twellman, the New England Revolution striker, comes on to take his place in the lineup. So fresh legs for the United States now. Yeah, that's an energy substitution as well. Taylor Twellman, he's going to chase. He's going to hustle. He's going to track the ball down. Not a good game for Clint Dempsey. Good time to get new energy in the game. And right off the bat, after the sub by the U.S., we have a nasty collision. That's Jonathan Spector who's down and Guardado from Mexico. They both went up to challenge for a, a loose ball, and they might have knocked heads. Let's get another look. Wow, Spectre plays the ball up, and they did clash heads. Inadvertent, both players going for the ball. There's Spectre playing it up. The clash of the heads, and they're both down. And these are two valuable players. Now, Guardado is to his feet. He has the goal, so is Spectre. Remember, the United States is without Frankie Haydick today. Normally, they're number one at the position of right back.
each player dazed and to the sideline. We'll see if either one is subbed out of the match. Here comes the U.S. Taylor Twelman, who just checked in, gives to Jonathan Bornstein now. Bornstein crosses top of the box. That's Salcedo who got a foot on it. Ricardo Clark has it for the U.S. On Yewu now. 1-1 is the score. On Yewu plays this deep into the box, headed away by Osorio. Controlled by the U.S. though. Failhaber plays it wide. Bornstein crosses. Twelman in front. Sanchez got a hand on it. This should be a corner kick coming up for the United States. It is. Now that's the hustle, the grit of Twelman. Bornstein gets the ball out wide left. That's a nice little cross. Forces Sanchez to touch it out. Substitution for the U.S. Spectre will not be able to play on, and they'll go to young Frank Simic to finish off the match. And that's it, because that's the third substitution for the United States. Here's a crack. Failhaber scores! Betty Failhaber brought it out of midair, ripped it. The United States with a 2-1 to lead. I cannot believe this goal. This is exquisite skill by the young Failhaber. This is a player coming of age. Hugo Sanchez can't believe it. That ball never cleared out off the initial corner. Watch Failhaber top of the box. He judges it, takes it out of the air, full volley with the right foot. Again, so often the second ball, the dangerous one. Look at that strike. Mexico trails for the first time today. Bornstein played it forward. And Castillo went down. Now Beasley with the U.S. rejuvenated into open space. Ching. Brian Ching makes a cut. Sanchez down. He put it off the post. Magallon now clears it away. Brian Ching possibly on the verge of icing the game for the U.S. Somehow he missed the net. This would have been game over. Perfect ball to Ching. Look how well he does with it. Spins, loses, Maguillon has a wide open goal. How did he miss? Does all the hard work, Steve, and then can't do the simplest part. Sanchez at his mercy there. Substitution. Medina is done, and Blanco will come on now with the Mexican national team needing a goal. Lozano is done. Bautista is on for Mexico. Two to one, the United States on top. Donovan, penalty kick, Failhaber with one of the more terrific goals the United States has scored at any level of competition in a long time. What a game we have, Steve. I thought Mexico has been the better team, got the lead, but this U.S. team never quit. Got the call, converted the PK, and now they've got the lead. Salcido toss in. Batista on the ball. Pops high on Yewu, heads it away. Pardo brings it down, though. Well, we saw Spectre leave the game. Bob Bradley can't take a chance. Put Simic right back in. Gordardo still in the game, though, so seems to have survived that collision. And he will play on because Hugo Sanchez has used all three of his substitutions. Blanco goes down. A foul is called. Blanco will be in Chicago on a full-time basis shortly. Not Soldier Field, but for the Chicago Fire, who play at nearby Bridgeview. Bornstein knocks that away. Chance for Twelman now for the United States. Taylor Twelman on the loose. Makes his cut into the box. Tried to do too much with it. Now gets it back on a second chance. Twelman able to cross it. Donovan can't catch up to that. Well, again, Taylor Twelman has brought that energy to the game. He's really not the player that's going to run at you, skin you with the ball. But if you're Mexico now, Steve, you've got to pick up the pace of the game, get forward, try and put some pressure on that back four of the U.S. Marquez plays this forward. Pardo on the ball now. Osorio plays it up top. Neri Castillo to Blanco. Blanco tried to lay it off for Batista, but that was knocked away. 
by Twelman. And now Failhaber gives to Demarcus Beasley. Or Ricardo Clark. Clark making a run down the left side. Just ran out of gas and had it knocked away. What a good ball by Failhaber. You talked about the exquisite goal, Steve, but he has, I think, in this second half, really played well the goal aside. And playing well is something Ricardo Clark has, has done. It's a yellow card issued to the United States, and it goes to DeMarcus Beasley in the 85th minute. Twelman brought down on the near side of the field. Mexico will get the toss in, though. Bob Bradley's team looking to hold on and win its fourth Gold Cup championship. It would equal the total Mexico has won through the years. Batista, let it go to Castillo. Neddy Castillo, edge of the box, makes his cut into traffic, deflected in front. It's loose, Batista has it! Save made by Howard! That, my friends, is a save at a tournament. You're winning two to one. This ball's gonna bounce around. And there's the shot. That's a world-class save. Cat-like reflexes. Tim Howard touches it over. A fired up Howard, but a corner kick from Mexico. Headed in front, but away. And Landon Donovan now. With numbers for the United States. Donovan moving forward. It's a two on oh with Beasley. Demarcus Beasley. He sailed it over the net. The U.S. bench is in disbelief. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's two against nobody. Landon Donovan, that's a perfect ball. What in the world is DeMarcus Beasley doing? He just had a slot it in. He struck it instead. Mexico still alive. Batista back the other way. He put it off the crossbar. Blanco now, still time for Mexico. Edge of the box, plays it back into open space. Twelman on a challenge as Guardado sails over him. Foul is called against the U.S. Marquez now. Four minutes of added time. Plenty of time for Mexico. Guardado to Castillo, wide. Offside flag went up, though, anyway. Well, the U.S., Steve, by not converting those chances, has given Mexico hope. Plenty of time in stoppage time. Castillo clearly in an offside position. If you're the U.S., just manage the clock. Be safe. Don't make any mistakes at the back. And if you're Mexico, Steve, nothing to lose. Get forward. Take people on. Try and get that one last crack at goal. Hugo Sanchez looks on. The U.S. trying to kill the clock. Magallon deep in his own area. We'll watch this go out. Quick throw in for Mexico now. Salcido for Marquez. And we're going to do this one more time. They'd like to back it up to the proper spot. Salcido now with the toss in for Mexico. Twice before they have met in the Gold Cup final. Twice before Mexico has won. But the U.S. trying to continue a great run of dominance against its biggest rival on U.S. soil. And this can't feel like a home game for the United States with the crowd here today. Batista. Over the top. Going down in the box was Bravo. Crowd wants a call. There is none. He looked immediately to the referee, Batres. Let's take a look. That's a good non-call. Both players going for the ball. Shoulder to shoulder. You're not going to get a PK on that. This one sent deep into the U.S. area. Onyewu will just play this out. He won't fool around with Blanco on his tail. Quick toss in. Castillo is on it. Neddy Castillo. Has it taken away by Simic and a nice job by the defender who unexpectedly had to come into the game for the injured Spectre. Bob Bradley undefeated as U.S. head coach. 9-0-1 if the U.S. holds on here. And a Gold Cup championship. Edge of the box. This is brought down and cleared away by Bocanegra. Negra. 
Magallon plays it. Headed away by Anyewu. The U.S. gets it to Ching. Feels the pressure from Magallon. Now across, Donovan will kill some clock here. Eats up precious seconds, plays it across now. Ching, it never got to him. Marquez made the tackle. Marquez plays this forward. Players collide at midfield right there as Omar Bravo went down. It'll be a foul call against the United States with only seconds remaining. Donovan gives it up. Mexico pushing forward now. Quick free kick. Pardo is on the ball. Got it back from Guardado. Pardo chips one into the box. It's loose. Blanco brings it down. Blanco down low. Lofts it, but Howard is there to control for the United States. What a game we've had. Steve Cangelosi, they're fighting it out to the end. All the way back to Sanchez in goal for Mexico. He wants everybody up. Oswaldo Sanchez lets it fly. Top of the box. Headed away by Bocanegra. Final chance for Mexico, perhaps. Guardado plays it forward. Wide for Marquez. Takes a shot loose in front. Bocanegra cleared it away. The U.S. will walk this out. It is all over. The signal given by Batres. The United States, the 2007 Gold Cup champion, and right away, storming off the bench, the Mexican coach, Hugo Sanchez. He and several players go right to the referee, Batres, to express their displeasure. But the United States wins it, 2-1. to one. The first time they've ever come back to beat Mexico. We're back with a wrap at Soldier Field in Chicago in just a few moments. Work like a pro. Play like a pro. Tackle tough jobs. Dominate the game. Destroy the competition. Go professional. Choose Makita. At the Gatorade Sports Science Institute, we test athletes in the lab. we know they'll be tested on the field. Gatorade, the most tested sports drink on the planet. At Soldier Field in Chicago, that's FIFA President Sepp Blatter congratulating the runners-up to this Gold Cup championship, the Mexican national team. The U.S. fans, they were outnumbered, but they're watching. The U.S. men's national team collect medals, successfully defending their Gold Cup championship from two years ago. And Shet Messing for Bob Bradley, an important win. He remains undefeated as U.S. national team head coach. Steve, I think that's the important thing. It's the passing of the torch from Bruce Arena to Bob Bradley. Bradley, when he was named coach, said this Gold Cup tournament 2007, this is the one I want to win. And I think... We see new players come into the program. And Benny Failhaber, one of those new players, providing the real jolt for the United States with a spectacular strike for the game-winning goal that came in the second half in the game's 73rd minute. So the United States hoisting the Gold Cup Championship trophy. The U.S. fans, we said, outnumbered, I would say at least 9-1. to one. And the United States celebrating in front of that loyal pocket of fans known as Sam's Army. They're getting the personal tribute right here. And for those fans gathered in one corner of the end zone, a moment that they'll likely never forget, celebrating the U.S. championship. And the U.S. does this the hard way. They do something they've never done before. They beat Mexico in come-from-behind fashion. And we've seen this transition now in the past decade, Shet Messing, where Mexico is no longer the power in CONCACAF. It is the United States. There's no question. I think this game shows that the U.S. is the team to beat. I am pleased that Mexico at least played their A game. They hadn't played well in the tournament. 
played well in this game, but U.S., they should be the favorite. Well, there was no exchange of jerseys, no pats on the back or handshakes between the two teams, and still a bitter pill for Mexico to swallow simply because a controversial call turned the entire game around. That was the call that led to the penalty kick by Landon Donovan, only part of the story today as we check out the highlights of the championship match. In the first half, it's Bornstein getting forward, cracks it with the outside of the right foot. And that one goes just wide of the near post. And for the United States, a golden opportunity here. Landon Donovan's shot is blocked, and then Dempsey. Sanchez made the stop. That ball just pings around off two Mexican players. The back of Marquez. Dempsey fires. That's a world-class save. United States being outplayed for the most part in the first half, and here it costs them. Neri Castillo creates. Guardado is able to finish. That's a spectacular goal. Guardado hammers it in, but it's all the speed and cunning of this man. Castillo drives it through the six-yard box, and that's a great finish by Guardado. And the United States trailing for the first time in this Gold Cup tournament after the goal by Guardado. Then Bob Bradley made a switch. He put Ricardo Clark into the game to start the second half, and the U.S. starts to turn things around. They picked up the pace of the game. Donovan gets it to Clint Dempsey. That's an awful finish by Dempsey. Miss hits the ball, but the U.S. with new energy. Jonathan Spector plays it in the box to Brian Ching. And Ching collides with Magallon. Penalty kick is the call. The turning point of the match right there. The yellow card to Magallon. More importantly, a chance now for the United States money man on these PKs, Landon Donovan, to make the difference. Well, the call is penalty kick. Landon Donovan, he went down the middle every other time in this tournament. This time, Sanchez stays in the middle, and that's the best PK Landon Donovan has taken in Gold Cup 2007. And he ties Eric Winalda for most goals scored all time by a U.S. men's national team player. 1-1 is your score at that point, and then Benny Failhaber. This is one of the greatest goals that the U.S. has ever scored in international play by young Failhaber. The corner kick never gets cleared out. He takes it out of the air with the right foot. That turns out to be the winning goal in this game. And then the corner kick by Donovan sets up the entire thing. 22-year-old Benny Failhaber with the game winner. Anxious moments at the end, though, for the U.S. Batista was stopped by Howard. Tim Howard didn't have to do a lot, but I'll tell you what, that's a world-class save. Look at the reaction of Tim Howard. The ball just bouncing to Batista. That's cat-like reflexes. As the final seconds tick off, the United States able to celebrate its fourth Gold Cup championship. So the U.S. and Mexico now the only four-time Gold Cup champions. The United States gets the spot in the FIFA Confederations Cup field in South Africa in 2009. But soon, we're going to brace ourselves for World Cup qualifying. And based on what we saw over this tournament, that could be a lot of fun, Shep Messing, and also maybe unpredictable. A number of storylines, success by some teams that really were not anticipated when we began. Steve, I think that's a good point. And we look back at this Gold Cup tournament 2007. I think the level of CONCACAF play generally has risen and has been recognized around the world as evidenced by this tournament. And to your, to your point, Panama, Honduras, uh, Costa Rica, uh, Guatemala. I mean, I think, I think qualifying is going to be interesting. There's still the powerhouses, U.S. and Mexico, Canada creeping in. But great tournament and great anticipation of things to come in qualifying. In the end, the United States successfully defends its championship. We've had a blast calling this tournament 25 games over 19 days. We hope you've enjoyed it, too. Once again, the United States is the Gold Cup champion for 2007. For Shep Messing, I'm Steve Cangelosi. Thanks for being with us.